Did you know there are different patterns of AI agents? But more importantly, how can you use these agents in your analytics workflows? Let's talk about them. Option one is prompt chaining. This is where a task can be broken up into steps that are sequential. So one after the other. For example, if your business partners often come to you with one-off data pool requests, you can build an agent workflow that takes a question in English. The first agent converts that question into SQL. The next agent validates that query. The third agent pulls the data from the database and then explains the results in plain English. The second option is an orchestrator workflow pattern where you have a manager agent break down the tasks and delegate them to little worker agents and then another agent that synthesizes the results. One example of how you can use this in your analytics workflow is to do competitor intelligence. You could have a manager agent that breaks down a broad question like who are our company's competitors and what are their competitive advantages? The manager agent will break down this question into little tasks, like maybe each task is for each searching one company, and then another agent that combines and summarizes all the findings from each little agent. And I'm gonna give you a third option, which is the evaluator optimizer approach. This is where you have one agent that produces something and another agent that evaluates it, give them feedback, and they go back and forth until the evaluator agent accepts the solution. For example, maybe you use AI to generate documentation for data pipelines, you might have one one LM reading the code and generating the documentation, then another evaluator agent checking the documentation against the code for correctness. These are only three options. I found this article from Anthropic incredibly helpful if you want to learn more.